Hello, and thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you so much. I'm going to give you all the volume I got, and I'm an opera singer, though, so that should be something. But if you have trouble hearing me, please let me know. <clears throat> Keep in mind that if you not do not get the info of here, that it will be given out afterwards. There is a table on your way out to the right of the ramp as you exit um, this area by the bar. As you go down the ramp, there will be a table to your right, and we'll be there answering questions or to advise on anything or to help sign you up for future information. Um, I want to welcome officially everybody to something that is history. This project is a collaboration of so many people and things and time and talents and belief processes in the idea of accessibility. We are redefining what independence and accessibility means for our community, and that is life-changing. That is something that cannot be measured in thank you events, receptions, or anything else, but it is measured in experience. It is measured in what you do with it, in what each of us goes out and does with this opportunity, and this pilot program gives us the chance to do that, and that, for me at least as a blind person, is transformative. For those who do not know me, I am Sassy Outwater Wright. I am the executive director of the Mass Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. And I've been part of this project since I started bugging Kevin about five months ago. Um, and I've been working with Ira for about two years since I saw Suman on stage a couple of years ago. And I've been a subscriber to IRA ever since I first heard that they were bringing network partnerships to businesses and saying that accessibility isn't just something that should sit on the shoulders of people who are disabled. It should sit, sit on everybody's shoulders. It should be everyone's responsibility. It should be everyone's accessibility, everyone's inclusion. And I loved that idea. So the first thing I did was bring Ira to all of the blind and low vision employees at the Massachusetts Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired who wanted it. Then it turned into bringing it to Wegmans, then Walgreens, now the MBTA. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We call this a revolutionary pilot project because it is. Boston is good at making revolutions. I mean, we kind of have a history of doing that. <laughs> and we're doing it again tonight. Nice. So I'm going to give a couple housekeeping items, and then I'm going to introduce the person who is the brain behind this whole thing, Iris CEO, Suman Kanoganti. So what we are and what this is, Access AI is a pilot program between the MBTA and IRA to provide free access for people who are blind or have low vision who want to access the MBTA services. This includes subway, bus, commuter rail, and ferry services. And you are able to download the IRA app and call an IRA agent when using the MBTA services for transit-related tasks. If you need help on the T, an IRA agent is a call away. If you do not know how to use IRA, the Massachusetts Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired is partnering with the MBTA and IRA to provide training courses throughout the pilot. This pilot will run from May 1st through October 31st. And at that point, we will see where we are and see what happens next. But our goal here is to prove that accessibility is something that changes the world because we use it. So I teased everybody, at least on my social media feed, by saying I was going to commit to a pledge or a, a, a pledge of something. And I used the hashtag, I commit to access. So whenever possible, for the next six months, I'm using the T. And I'm using Ira on the T. Mm -hmm. Because I want to see how far I can take Yes, this. yes. So if it means I take one less ride share and get there, you know, at a little bit different pace. 
If it means I have to take a little extra time to figure things out and to do some trip planning, if it means that I gotta walk a little bit more, oh no. <laughs> At least they pick really good timing for this, so there's not a foot of snow. <laughs> but I will be out there, I will be using the MBTA, and I challenge all of you to commit to access. Because the only way that this becomes life-changing is if you let it change your life and you test out what it can do for you. All of us have different needs. Accessibility is not the same for everyone. And I want each of us to find out what that looks like for us. So if you're down, I dare you, commit to access. Yes. And use the hashtag when you do it. Now I'm going to introduce, I'm going to shut up. Uh, somebody needs to start playing the shut up music. because uh, <laughs> I told you, musician. Um, I'm going to introduce the man who kind of brought this all to fruition. Suman Kanuganti is the co-founder and CEO of Ira Tech Corp, an emerging high-tech startup currently focused on bridging the information gap for those who are blind or low vision. Under Suman's leadership and guidance, Ira's service is comprised of leading technologies such as smart glasses, artificial intelligence, and augmented reality integrated with a network of highly trained remote agents. Through this platform, Ira is able to provide instant access to visual information to anyone at any time, anywhere. Suman holds an MBTA, MBA. Nice. Now, if anybody starts singing the, the, the Charlie song, I'm gonna start throwing things in. <laughs> Suman holds an MBA in entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial studies from UC San Diego. Oh, California girl, sorry, I had to. <laughs> Ready School of Management, a master's in computer engineering from the University of Missouri, Columbia, and a bachelor's in electronical, excuse me, in electrical and electronics engineering from, uh, I'm gonna butcher this, Kakataya? University? <laughs> India. Um, under Suman's leadership, Ira has received some of the industry's top honors and awards, including being named Best Mobile Innovation for Education and Best Mobile Service for the Connected Life at Mobile World Congress 2019. The Blomo Awards being named a winner in two categories of First Company's 2019 World Changing Ideas Awards, in addition to being selected as one of Time Magazine's Best Inventions of 2018. Yeah. Wow. wow. He's never going to compete, or he's never going to forgive me because I butchered his bio. But y'all, I can't compete with that. I'm going to turn this over to Suman. I do have a degree from MBTA. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the partnership. How is everyone? one thing is mandatory for all the IRA events is the high energy and that's what we are going to do today uh, so I'm going to ask everybody again how is everybody doing today <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about <laughs> guys so we are all gathering in here for something special and uh, Sassy has said it um, I would like to first uh, take a moment and thanks uh, say thanks for uh, uh, the people at uh, HCD, Human Center Design. Uh, who Let's give a round of applause to <laughs> Thanks a lot for hosting us. Um, uh, your brand speaks to yourself, so thanks. Um, but I also want to take a moment and, and uh, um, want to applaud uh, for the great amounts of effort and work that went into what, what made 
happened today. You know, we are here to celebrate something beautiful because something that will uh, create like a new normal for the industry of the future, right? Um, so I guess Sassy, Christian Phelan, uh, Matt, all the people who worked on this project, uh, raise your hand because a lot of people are standing. So raise your hand. Raise your hand if you Ooh. work on this project. Guys, let's give a round of applause for all the kids. It's not a small feat. Um, I'll tell you why. The public-private <laughs> public partnership is one of its kind, right? Um, uh, working alongside with the MBTA uh, has been, uh, I guess, you know, one of the most awesomest rides this team uh, had. So that also means that the kudos goes to our partnership with MBTA and how collaborative the team was. They have heard, they have talked about the innovation. We talked about what does it mean for people who are using it on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we had multiple different conversations. And fast forward a few months later, this is really happening. This thing is really happening. So I'm super excited standing in here. I was, uh, I was uh, flying um, from San Diego all the way. Uh, and you always think about coming to the East Coast, I always jam up with the meetings because, you know, you, you want to make most out of your fly. And then I was thinking, huh, you know what? I don't have to jam up the meetings this time around because this in itself is so fucking worth it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I mean, what, 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 what? <laughs> So I do, I do want to take a moment and appreciate uh, uh, MBTA team in here. Uh, Jennifer is standing out, out there. I know some people are missing it here, but uh, let's give a round of applause to MBTA for really active me. Now let's talk about Ira Explorers. There is something to it. Whenever we talk about an IRA explorer, and I'm an IRA explorer, there is a greatest moment of pride that exists within this community. Why? How much ever you talk about IRA, unless you are in it, it's very hard to understand what the hell these people are talking about. <laughs> and I heard that over and over and over again for the past four years or so. Yeah, it's only a short period of time, but you know, we have thousands of people out there who are exploring the world, like, you know, uh, more efficiently than ever before, right? Um, and you get to hear a number of different use cases. And, and Sassy talked eloquently about this whole idea of access, right? Unless and until, you know, you have that equal access to every place that you go. You get up in the morning, you go grab a cup of coffee. That should be every hour access zone. You go to... Um, uh, uh, transportation or a metro station or MBTA, that should be a free IRA access zone. And you go to work, that should be free IRA access zone. You go for groceries, that should be free access zone, right? And then you go to a nice uh, museum to enjoy the art, that should be a free IRA access zone, uh -huh. right? So, so the idea of bringing accessibility to the people the worldwide is, is the beginning. And today, we are in fact uh, setting an example of how MBTA is leading the way, which is which comes with you know, the ability of appreciating innovation and also taking the risk and also believing in the people who are bringing it to the community. Um, uh, so I guess I would want to lean into the transportation a little bit more, uh, little more. So transportation, what does it mean to you? What does transportation mean to everybody in here? Anybody? Freedom. Freedom. Independence. 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 Why? A breath of fresh air. Why? <laughs> Go okay. wherever you want to go. Great. Keep that momentum. Uh, opportunities. Opportunities. That's good. Yeah, so you can go wherever you want to go because you you go to wherever there are. <laughs> 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 Endless traffic. So that's time. Um, and somebody said opportunities. What kind of opportunities? Job interviews. Jobs. Okay. Networking. Networking socializing. Social. Games. Games. So Breath traditionally. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I need that bit humor. I don't have jokes for all the way. Um, exploring the unknown. Exploring the unknown. So traditionally, transportation has proven over and over again that having that level of infrastructure gives mobility, right? And mobility creates opportunities because we can go where the opportunities are. And it's not a new thing it, that the history has spoken to it. And, you know, we have 
flights all around flying the country, you know, around the country. The true idea of global economy is actually happening right now because of the uh, mobility that people have today. So when a transportation uh, 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 leader such as MBTA is picking up a new novel innovation technology that breaks the barriers for increasing or enhancing the mobility, that's a great thing. And when you increase or enhance mobility, that will lead to the greater economic opportunities, right? So in a way, whatever we are doing today is for the greater economic good. Mm -hmm. And I want you guys to take away that particular message today. The reason I will uh, support I Commit Access program that Sassy just talked about is not just about individual, about ourselves. It's also about greater economic good. So enhanced mobility, greater economy. I think that's my message for today. And I would want to thank for everybody who came over in here. Uh, and it's, it's a wonderful event. I'm already having a great fucking time. <laughs>
which the agent uses to provide visual information on demand. We're dedicated to enhancing mobility, and therefore the economy, to greater levels than ever before. So I'm going to let you help finding the green line stations. There has been a bunch of construction around here lately, and I need to get into the North Station. It's a green subway silver line. Yep, that's it. We got right to the platform. Thank you so much. 24-7 access, at no cost. Ira is free on the team. Download the Ira app today. from my jokes as you might have wished. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, no, I'm sorry. Um, I promise I'm gonna be quick. I do want to let you know, I have been told by the on high Kristen that we are taking a picture. Um, so please hang out for just a second so that we can make that happen. Um, the last thing that I would like to do is leave you with something profound, which my husband is going to laugh at me about later. Um, <laughs> get going. Um, so, my husband is huge in comic books. He loves comic books. And so he makes me get into comic books. And I like comic books. And so we've been watching the Marvel movies, who hasn't? And um, I keep going back to that same old, same old, same old Agent Carter scene. Now he knows what I'm talking about. There is a group that we have not mentioned here tonight that I think deserves a huge shout out because they helped me figure out what I wanted this pilot to be like. They helped me collaborate with Isla, uh, Ira to make that happen. They helped me get my brain on straight about what this could be. I often joke with them that they're the other half of my brain. Those of you who are current Ira explorers, I think have an idea where I'm going here. But the Ira agents are not here and they need a huge round of applause from us and a huge thank you. <laughs> would not be happening without those agents this would not be possible so to all the ira agents working hard behind the dash helping us out day to day and being the other half of our brain and being our vision of what accessibility could be we are boston is sending you a huge thank you tonight yeah. <laughs> now agent carter there was a scene her funeral somebody said that women didn't get to get into espionage and diplomacy. For those of you who don't know, Agent Carter was uh, the one who founded S.H.I.E.L.D. and she was this awesome yeah. female agent. In a, in a comic book, yes, I am a nerd and I'm totally letting that show. Yay! I'm a technology person, did you expect any different? Um, and somebody said, Sharon, her daughter, said at her funeral, that once you've figured out what your truth is, you stand there, and I'm paraphrasing, I'm not quoting, but you can go watch it for yourself because you need to. You stand there, and when society tells you to move, you look at society and you say, you move. <laughs> you plant yourself like a tree, and you stand there and you say, you move. Mm -hmm. And I want to say to all the blind people and low vision people in the room right now, we did. We said to society, come help us gain better access to the transportation, because we are Bostonians. We need that. And it happened. Thank you to the MBTA. Thank you to Ira. We moved. Yes. Awesome. Grab your glasses, we are toasting this and taking a picture, and then you are peace out. I commit to access, right? All right. When we toast, we're going to count to three and we're going to toast, I commit to access. Because apparently that's what Kristen has picked. That's your head. I just picked that for me. But I pick, okay. Well, then you guys can all commit to that. One, two, three. I, I get to access. Woo! You all can blame me later. I'm around. <laughs>